Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. We're having some great spring weather where I live. We've been looking forward to it for so long. I'm having a great day. I think we're gonna go a bike ride later. First bike ride of the year for me. It'll be super special. Um, today's tea of the day is genmaicha, which is one of my favorite teas. Um, if you haven't heard of genmaicha before, and by the way, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. In fact, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it with a horrible accent. <laughs> That's what it looks like phonetically to me. Anyway, genmaicha is Japanese green tea with toasted rice. So it's very, like, it's like a very homey taste, a very roasty, toasty flavor that isn't too strong. Just a really good everyday drinking green tea. I'm really, really excited about this video because I'm, we're going to be doing a shop together with me um, on my Sephora app. <laughs> I'm gonna screen record my screen and go through the items I have in my cart. Now I have to say, first off, I'm not usually a Sephora shopper, um, everything there is just very expensive. I'm usually more of an Ulta person myself. And if I do end up go into Sephora, I'm usually buying like one thing I don't do usually in a Sephora haul, which means that I'm not even a Vi VIB member. So I know a lot of people right now are very excited about the VIB sale. I don't get that excited because it's only 10% off for me, which, you know, that's not a whole lot. So I didn't get too excited about it, but I was planning, mm, excuse me. <laughs> But I was planning on picking up one or two things this month anyway, just to try them. So I figured I might as well grab them during the 10% off sale for a beauty insider like me. But I'm having a hard time choosing. I'm having a hard time choosing just one or two items, or maybe three items <laughs> that I'm going to allow myself to get from Sephora this month. So I thought I could go through them with you guys and you could tell me in the comments if you have tried these products, like which ones should I try next? Because all of these, I'm probably eventually going to try. Well, maybe, we'll see. But it's all about, you know, what to get right now. So let me quick get my screen recording on and we can get started. Okay, so I have currently 10 items in my cart. Um, oh, I should probably say it before we start that I'm not interested right now in buying a palette. I'm not looking into things like setting sprays, powders, lipsticks, like I, <laughs> so you'll notice that a lot of the things in my cart, is, it's mostly blush. Okay, it's mostly blush. This video is probably gonna turn into help me choose a blush video. So anyway, wait, wait, the very, very first item that I have in here is the Rose Ink Blush. Now I've been interested in these for quite a while just because um, one of my favorite creators to watch, Julia Adams, really, really likes these. I have the shade Foxglove here, which I think looks so, so pretty. I'm really into these kind of rusty blush colors. Um, but this is on the more expensive side. $30 is more expensive than a lot of the ones I'm looking at. So that's kind of holding me back a little bit, even though I do really want to try this blush. Um, like I said, the shade Fox Glove is probably the one that I'm the most interested, but the other one I really liked was, yeah, Heliotrope, which this one looks more neutral, maybe. It describes it as an apricot, but I don't know. I think it just looks really, really pretty. So if you've tried those blushes, let me know. What do you think of them? Uh, down below. <laughs> For now, leaving that in my cart, I have not made any choices yet. <laughs> okay, so the next item is actually not a blush. This is from the Sephora collection, and I've been hearing good reviews of these um, eyeshadows from them. Like, I know they have a ton, so I'm not really interested in trying a whole lot from them considering the collection that I already have. But this one in particular, this is the shade Shock Chalk. Uh, Amanda Z was talking about how this is actually quite a beautiful luxurious formula but it's only nine dollars which i don't think actually i was looking before for it swatched on here and i don't think they have a swatch unfortunately so we'll just have to look at it like this but i always think it's kind of fun to find things that are less than ten dollars at sephora if you could possibly find them that's actually good so i don't know i'm kind of interested to try that one out that probably will just stay in my cart. I think I'm gonna get that. Oh, here's a blush I've been looking at for a long time and it's definitely one of the more expensive ones. From Patrick Ta, the Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This I think I can take out at this time because the shade that I really want is sold out. I really wanted to try the shade She's Blushing. There we go. It's still a neutral blush, but it's not quite as neutral as She's So LA. Oh, here in this picture, it looks really pink. So maybe it's not as neutral as I was thinking, but it's still a really, really beautiful blush. The one that everyone loves so much, the one She's So LA, I currently have in my cart, but I'm kind of intimidated by it. It looks so bronzerish to me. I don't know, but the picture again, it looks pink. If you have the shade, let me know. Is it is it pink or is it basically just a bronzer? 
I'm really into nude blush, so I don't mind it if it's like a super, super nude blush. But I do think I can take it out at this time, just because there's so many I want to try. I know I'll eventually get to this one. So I think I'm going to take that one out. Okay, the next one, this, this blush just came under my radar. This is from Item Beauty, which I actually have a setting spray from them that I really like. Um, this one, it came like a Ipsy last year. And otherwise, the brand hasn't really been on my radar. But again, Julia Adams was talking about these. <laughs> She's kind of one of my go-tos for blushes. And she, just, she was describing it as kind of bouncy, like the MAC Glow Play blush. But she said it's not the same as the MAC Glow Play. It just kind of reminded her. And I was like, hmm. That instantly got my attention because I love the MAC Glow Play blushes. Plus, this blush is only $16 for Sephora. That's downright drugstore. <laughs> I mean, it's really good for um, Sephora. And this shade, it's verified. I mean, look at this picture. That is a beautiful shade of blush. It looks like kind of a more neutral leaning again, but still kind of pinky toned. That is really pretty. And yeah, the description describes it as a bouncy, cloud-like blush that dabs on dewy and finishes like a powder for the perfect wash of comfy color that will not disrupt your makeup. It has squalane, kiwi seed oil, and cellulose in it. It sounds so good. I was thinking I might be able to talk myself out of this one. Well, I don't know. I'm going to leave that in my cart for now. It sounds so nice. Oh, here's another one that I have been wanting to try for a long time. From Melt. <laughs> I told you this would be a help me choose a blush video <laughs> from Melt. This is the Cream Blush Flights. And I honestly have held off buying one of these for so long just because Melt isn't really a brand I'm that interested in. But I keep hearing about these. People really love them. And I'm just not sure about which shade. I think the shade I've heard the most about is the shade Polished, which is the one I have in my cart. And they describe it as a refined grapefruit, which I was kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But it looks really, really glowy, which I don't mind a blush if it has some glow in it. But if you try this, let me know, is it really, really glowy? Like, really glowy? Because <laughs> I don't necessarily want a highlighter type blush. I do have um, the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Venetian Rose Blush, and I don't think that one's too glowy. So if this one is like that level of glowy or less, uh, let me know. It sounds interesting to me. But this shade is super beautiful. Maybe instead of polish, I might like Honey Thief more. Let me see, let's look at Honey Thief. They describe it as a staple peach, which doesn't sound that exciting to me. But, ooh, the blush itself is pretty and it doesn't look as glowy. So maybe I'd like Honey Thief more. Hmm, okay, for now I'm gonna add, ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna add it to my basket. And I'm going to think about those two shades. Another blush where I cannot decide on a shade. <laughs> if I decide to get one of these, yeah, I have two different colors in my cart. I have from Danessa Myricks, which Danessa Myricks is a brand I've been wanting to try all year long. <laughs> Actually, last year was when I first started like learning about her brand. So if you guys, again, have a color recommendation, I have the two shades Bread and Butter which is a natural pink. Let me quick swipe through so you guys can see what bread and butter looks like. And this is one of those products you can use on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. So bread and butter, again, looks more of a neutral pink. Let's see, let's go back then to the other shade I was looking at, which was, what was the other shade I was looking at? Ballet Slippers, I think. And Ballet Slippers is described as a classic blush shade. Ooh, that's pretty. So that one's like, again, ooh, that's so pretty. I can't decide between ballet slippers and bread and butter. I don't know. But this is, again, another one of those blushes where it isn't as expensive as the other ones. This one's only $20 in comparison to like Patrick Ta, which is 34 and that's a brand I'm super interested in trying. So again, I'm having a really hard time narrowing this down. I'm, I'm counting on you guys to help me. <laughs> so another one that just came on my radar is the Huda Beauty, or I should say Huda Beauty, Cheeky Tint Cream Blush Stick. And I saw these like on Trend Mood and I was just like, yeah, whatever, another cream blush. But actually these have been getting very good reviews and they look very interesting to me. Although I think the shade that I would particularly want is already sold out. The shade that I really like is the shade called Rebel Red. Oh, look at it. It's like a gorgeous 
sunburned color, but looking at the swatches on people's arms, I mean, I guess it could be photoshopped on, but they make it look like it's more of a soft tint than like a super, super intense color. And if we're gonna go by that, I definitely like the red shade the most. So maybe I can hold off on buying one of those since the shade that I want isn't there. So I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna move it to my loves actually. Move to loves, there we go. Okay, so another blush. <laughs> Um, this one's from Natasha Denona, and it's been on my radar for quite a while. Now that I've been trying a lot of cream blushes, I'm to a point now where I kind of want interesting, interesting formulas, you know? And this one, not everyone likes it, um, but I don't know if you guys know Khaki from Khaki Loves, or is it Khaki Reviews Beauty? One of the two. Khaki Loves Beauty, Khaki Reviews Beauty. She really likes these, and she's a blush girl like I am. I think she's even more of a blush girl than I am, if you couldn't even believe that's a thing. <laughs> But she's got a lot of blush and she really enjoys these and the shades in this are just so different so this first one the color daria this is the one i have in my cart this is the shade pink coral and again i don't go for super super corally blushes but looking at the picture it looks more pink than coral and it looks just very like a very very fresh color oh it looks so pretty and then the other shades, there's tan, which is peachy tan, which, you know, I probably don't need that one, although it's probably gorgeous. <laughs> it's probably beautiful. And then they have a, this shade called Bloom, which is a true cherry, which again, oh, that looks super beautiful. I think that's kind of like a serum blush. Uh, I obviously haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. What does it say about it? A silky liquid blush, yeah, serum hybrid with perfect pigmentation to achieve a natural flush of color. So that one's probably f high up on my list to try. That might be one that stays in my cart. I'm gonna leave it in there for now. Also, I was really excited to see it was only $22. I mean, only, only $22, but you guys know shopping at Sephora, $22 is not that bad. Um, next on here, oh, I had a Makeup Forever uh, pencil. These get a lot of good reviews. I've never tried them. But for now, I'm just gonna remove them. I had the shade, I think I have a couple shades in here. This shade, Wherever Walnut, I'm just gonna Save my loves list and remove that for now. Oh, was that everything? Was that, yeah, because I put Honey Thief in there as well as Polish to think about which shade I'm going to get. So the day that I'm filming this, I can't purchase anyway. Well, I mean, I can, but if I wanna get the 10% off, I have to wait <laughs> for my little uh, section that I can shop in during the VIB sale. So anyway, this gives me time for you guys to uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> Should I do the Rose Ink, Item Beauty, Melt, and if so, from Melt, which shade? Um, which shade from the Danessa Myrex Bread and Butter or Ballet Slippers? I'm totally interested to hear what you guys think, and I can, I'm not going to be getting all of these. Besides that Sephora eyeshadow, I'm thinking I might just get one or two blushes. Oh goodness, I thought that I had lost my screen recording that I had done. I was like, no, no, my screen recording. Oh gosh, I'm so glad that, uh, oh goodness, I think it did save. Anyway, I thought this was super fun just going through my cart with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, very much. I would appreciate everyone's input <laughs> on the blushes that I should be trying next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.